Now, move over to our final story. Third Milan Bridge, federal government and um, the LS LASG deploy traffic personnel to alternative routes. As the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, in collaboration with the Lagos State Government, commences a three day investigative maintenance test on the Third Milan Bridge from midnight, 22nd of August, that is today. The Lagos State Government has assured residents of the free flow of traffic urging motorists and residents to comply with all traffic rules and directional signs to alternative routes during the period. The state government also urged motorists to cooperate with traffic personnel deployed to strategic areas to ease flow of traffic and avoid unnecessary gridlock. The third mainland bridge will be temporarily shut down for three days, beginning from the midnight on 23rd of August, as tonight up until tomorrow morning, between tonight and tomorrow, um, up until the 26th of August 2018, to allow for the test to be carried out before proper repairs in the future. The Lagos State Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Mr. Ade Akinsonya, who made the appeal, said adequate personnel will be on ground to direct motorists appropriately, adding that plans have been concluded to reduce possible heavy impact on road users in the state. I'm a bit nervous about this, Leila, because mm. even when the third mainland bridge was working, we used to have a lot of traffic. It's and I'm necessary. wondering how we can do this. But it's, it's important necessary. that they do these checks. Uh, the third mainland bridge is now the, it used to be the first longest bridge in Africa. It's now the second longest bridge in Africa. We cannot even think or fathom the idea of of a collapse of the bridge if we don't carry out the maintenance. The amounts of cars going on that bridge every day. We can give the Lagos State Government three days to carry out checks so that by the end of the year, moving into 2019, the proper works can be put on that bridge. But what I'd like to say is, okay, we look at the other bridges, Echo Bridge, Kata Bridge, and we're like, traffic. This is the perfect time for Lagosians to start making use of water transportation because water transportation is going to overtake Lagos before we know it. The traffic flow is too much. But the problem with the water transportation, one of the problem is we, we don't quite trust it as much. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember going on a boat cruise with some friends two months ago and it was we had, we had hung out all evening at the boat club and just as we we're about to set sail, one of them kept saying, I won't go. I won't let this boat move. It's already late. And her excuses were valid. She said, if anything happens and this but for any reason capsizes we are all dead there is nobody that is coming to help us so we don't even have quick response rapid response to emergencies on the road emergencies of the on the water could be more fatal that is mm -hmm. not to say we shouldn't look into the idea of exploring water transport but these are the things we should take into cognizance that people are afraid people are, are security conscious some people have phobia but i'm not dealing with the people that have phobia those who are just naturally security scared uh, security conscious we should ensure that we can guarantee the average nigerian that if you apply the waterways there would be no accident and if there is any emergency of any sort we would run to your rescue, even if it is only the life of one Nigerian at Do you know state. the most dangerous form of transportation? Which is the road. Yeah. And that is facts all over the world. The most dangerous form of transportation is on the roads. But we can you know, drive the funny through thing, Lagos, Lagos like and we can see road. accidents every single week. How often do we hear of a boat capsizing, so on and so forth? We're now moving on to months, right? And that goes to show the difference. Because and let's not forget really that people the people travel by water in Lagos we, every single day. We don't really ply it as much as we do the roads. Besides, of course when, not. In, in no place, Exactly. Really, so we don't ply it Venice, as much. Maybe. Personally, honestly, I would always speak the road over the water. Because I would say with road, you can fathom out some of the chances that would happen. The only problem would be when there's one mad driver you know, around the corner. But if you can drive carefully to an extent, you can influence what will happen at the end of the day. But with the water, you, there's really no way to see what happens. You can't tell where there's one stupid storm, one turbulence coming from somewhere. As with air. It's how some people never fly, need, never I do think domestic what it, I think what it's going to take is for sensitization and enlightenment to overtake us with regards to water transportation. It is a very valid form of transportation in certain cities across the world that need it. And one city that certainly needs it is Lagos right here in Nigeria. So let's start looking at water transportation. How can we make use of it? The federal government, and, sorry, at state level, are doing what they can to make it a conducive routes for Nigerians that is living in Lagos. So part. once they do that, hopefully once there's a system up and running, the same way the BRT system runs with the buses, hopefully we're going to get something like that that's going to make it a lot easier for us to actually use water transportation and feel no fear towards the it. The key word should be we should ensure that the water transport is safe and conducive. Mm -hmm. Once we can successfully do that, then... For Voila, I'm we're waiting set to on go. them to make sure the road safety is also safe and conducive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd, I'd pick I'd pick road over over that any well, day. Most boy. people would, but fact of the matter is, there's so many forms of transportation, and if you live in a city on the coast, it's only right that you start to consider using water transportation if you know 
that road transportation is making your day a lot more stressful. If actually it's not bring, and it's easier for you to use the roads, go ahead. We should actually bring not, somebody from the marine transport, you know, mm -hmm. to come and talk about it. Let's see what brilliant. moves are being made and what the government is doing with Absolutely. regards to exploring that option to make sure that the average Nigerian can ply our waterways without being afraid and understanding that it's comfortable enough for them to get to wherever they want to get to. But that's all we have for you on Trending Stories. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.